everybody, it's Lisa from LJ Creations. Today I have a little project for you and my inspiration comes from a make it yourself catalog that I found when I was cleaning up my craft room yesterday. Um, and it is this picture right here. So that is my inspiration. So I hope you'll join me in creating this. To make this tree today um, this is actually a quilt piece tree that was um, created on canvas and I just thought it was really gorgeous but I thought that would be a really cute way to use my scraps and also to create a fun Christmas tree um, card so yesterday when I was cleaning out my craft room I was going through all my magazines and I found that and I thought it'd be fun so we're going to get started on this. Um, I am actually going to use my scraps, my green scraps for this. So I'm going to pick out some uh, green scraps. I think this would be super fun to use. I believe this is Stampin' Up. So I thought that would be really fun. I think I'm going to use this as one of my mats. Um, and I think I'm going to use this as the trunk. I think that would look really cool as the trunk. So let's find some different ones. Um, if I'm trying to like look at this and see what kind of things. I think that would be kind of fun. It's got a nice green tone to it. Um, I'm not going to make you sit here and look at all my greens. But I'm just like looking at the different ones. I'm really liking all these different ones I'm finding. Yay! And it also helps me use my scraps because I think that's too summery, too floral. It's pretty though. Oh, it looks like they use like a floral up here. Oh well. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that one. But I do like this one. I believe it's graphic 45. Mother Goose. That would look really pretty. And that's, I know it's kind of floral too, but it doesn't have like the yellows and the summary tones to it. Um, man, they have a lot of green scraps. Here's a, another fun one. Oh, I like this side, but that's, that's super cute. Let's see what we have down here. Ooh, we have some more. Okay, I think I have the greens that we're going to use. So I'm going to cut those, and it looks like you're going to cut these. I'm just going to do a basic A2 card. So um, I think I'm going to cut these like maybe, may, I'm not going to use as many because that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 19 pieces, but this is a wall hanging, so I'm not going to go that big. But I think I'm going to cut maybe 6. Um, let me see how many greens I have and maybe do like half an inch or like one quarter of an inch um and we'll go from okay. there so let I me cut everything cut um i like i said earlier this is an a2 card and i got all my pieces cut and i have my glue and i am ready to start assembling so we're just going to do a basic card like i said i want this to be fun simple and cute and this is actually um, a great card for uh, hashtag cards for love for the kids of St. Jude and also for the troops. So I'm all about making more cards for this. And if you're interested in finding out more about hashtag cards for love, go to um, the link below. I'll have it posted in the description feed. And it talks about um, hashtag cards for love. It's a collaboration that there's, I believe there's 20 of us maybe. There's blogs, there's um, YouTube channels that were doing it. Um, it's got Mamie Helms, it's got, or Mamie Made It, it's got um, Melody Lane, uh, Crafts by Two, uh, Mickey G. I'm trying to think who else on top of my head without looking at a list. There's quite a few. Craft, Paper Crafting by G is on there. Uh, gift Baskets. Oh, God. The link is below. 
I'm, not, I'm gonna get names wrong, so I'm gonna stop naming them out. But the link is below, so just feel free to go and look at this. Now I know this is another Christmas tree card, and my last card was a Christmas tree card, but this I found and I had to show it. I just think it's super cute. It's easy. It's very simple. Um, but it also takes some thinking because you're doing the um, paper PC and you're trying to figure out where things go. And, well, it's an easy mass produce card as well. So, and it gets you to use up your scraps. Which I am all about using up my scraps because I organized my craft room yesterday a little bit. And I've decided, and I think my husband can agree, <laughs> I have too much paper. <laughs> See that shot in the background saying yes. <laughs> so, there we go. So I kind of put everything to the side. And actually, let me figure um, I did, I'm going to cut these. I cut them, but I didn't, I measured them, but I didn't measure them, if that makes any sense. They are a half, or three, no, not three quarters, they're one fourth of an inch, no, two fourths of an inch, um, each <coughs> one, so, and I'm using just my Tombow glue, just because it was handy dandy for my mat. I'm just going to kind of place that on here. I think this year I am doing um, I did that backwards. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh well. I am doing it upside down so that explains it. But I've already started so we're just it's the concept, right? Someone will get it and get a chuckle. I know I've gotten Christmas cards in the past that haven't even been signed. And I get chuckle out of them every time I get them. Or like something. This shows that they're human. So. Just. I'm kind of um, putting these off to the side a little bit. Because on our inspiration picture it does show like going off to the side a little bit like kind of making it kitty wumpus or um not kitty wumpus but giving it a little bit of definition TG comes in handy. But I don't have that out right now, so we'll just do it the way we're doing it and fix it, right? There we go. And my paper is from all over. I think the majority of it is stamping up, but my scraps are everything. Okay, you won't miss that one a little bit. There we go. We can go about three more up. And then we're done. Like I said, this is a really quick, fast card. It's just, I saw the paper piecing picture and I was like, that would be a super cute card. Now I do have Pinterest, so feel free to go to Pinterest and look at things. And I'll put this card up there when I'm done with it. But sometimes just going through like old school magazines give me a fresh look of ideas that you haven't seen a million times on Pinterest or on Facebook or Instagram and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I was going for. Something that 
is a little different than the norm. Oops. Put the glue on the wrong side. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's super cute. So, my fingers are sticky from the tumble. So, and then I'm just going to use a yellow ribbon. I know in the picture they use red, but I didn't have any ribbon, red ribbon. And I'm all about using up my stash and not buying anything for it now. So, but I am getting super excited because Scrapbook Expo is coming up, and I am actually taking a class with Becky Higgins. I'm super excited about that um, Project Life class. I have not done Project Life, and I want to learn about it, and I want to try it. I know it's, it's huge. I know it's simple, but I just, for some reason, I want to take a class on it to really learn it. So. make this bow a little bit smaller. There we go. <coughs> but then I can also teach you guys what I've learned with Becky Higgins because it's all about paying it forward. Card's done. It's super simple, it's super quick, and um, it gives you inspiration. So you can use inspiration for cards, you can create them where you want. This obviously was a quilt on canvas or paper piecing quilt. They hung, it looks like, um, but you can turn it into a card. So thanks for joining me. Have a good one.